Over to Chris Johnson, local pro, 27 years old, a marketing degree from Nebraska with aces. I've got to rant about sunglasses again. It's not destroying the game, but it's not helping. When I sit at a table, on, I don't want to play against eight guys wearing shades. With the aces, Johnson just calls. Yeah, he's hoping someone behind him gets frisky. Brian Roberts. Queen five won't get frisky with that. Now, Kaiser in the small blind. Quickly folds, as does Kemp's. So we're heads up, aces versus kings. For the record, Johnson has Smith easily covered. The flop is deuce eight, five, couple of clubs, both like the undercards and the clubs. This is the billboard for poker these days. Sunglasses, t-shirt or hoodie, left hand on right shoulder. Where do we sign up, Lon? <laughs> With Kings, Smith bets 250. Johnson's got him right where he wants him. An Aces versus Kings cold deck. Does Johnson want to pull the trigger down? Nope, he just calls. He'll wait a little longer to spring his trap. And no trap, boy! This was going to get ugly, but I didn't see the King coming. And suddenly the cold deck is a cooler for Chris Johnson. A set for Dan Smith. Smith with just green chips for 25K each, a smallish bet of 350. Yeah, he, he's offering good value. He's a used carpet salesman, Chris. Stick to hardwood floors. Johnson with the pocket aces, hoping that Dan is something like ace king. Chris Johnson just calls again. And I think Johnson is still trapping, but he is now trapped by Dan Smith. The river card now. Another deuce. Smith ends up with kings full. Johnson only aces up. Dan Smith now. Try to get some value out of his huge hand. 675. You heard him, 675. That's another suspicious small bet offering great value. He's trying to sell you a piece of Donald Trump luxury property, Chris. Be wary. But Chris Johnson has been trapping Smith, and he probably wants to raise here. Well, it would be his last chance. Come on. He raises Smith all in. Oh. And there's the call. And Johnson sees the bad news. Dan Smith with that double up. Johnson shakes his head, but nothing he could do about it. If he plays it fast, they just would have gotten all their chips into the middle pre-flop, and that king still pops out on the turn. The last time Dan Smith ran into aces, the situation and the outcome were a little bit different.